Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremesy Awakened LR First Form Frieza. Now, believe it or not, this guy, as a fully free-to-play LR, a fully free-to-play unit, is actually better than most of the summonable banner LRs in the game right now. Now, of course, he's not the best. He's not better than, like, you know, MUI Goku or SSB Vegeta, guys like that. But if you look outside, like, the top 10 LRs in the game, I'm pretty confident in saying that this guy is better than most of them. And if you don't believe me, if you've never seen what he can do, then just keep watching and uh, you'll understand very, very soon. All right, now, before we get into the actual showcase, let's quickly go over his details. So uh, starting with his leader skill, it's Extreme Class, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 90%, or Super Class, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%. He has two super attacks, of course, the 12 key and the 18 key. The 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage, and the 18 key causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. And then his passive is attack and defense plus 50%, key plus three, plus an additional defense plus 50% as the first or third attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing an ultra super attack, and plus an additional key plus three when attacking super class enemies. And as you can see, his links are not maxed out, not even close actually. Um, I haven't really had the time to work on him, so don't expect him to be like at his full potential, but we did give him a nice uh, you know, crit and attack skill orb here, so uh, yeah, overall he should perform pretty well, but he could be even better than what you see in this video, since after you max out his links, he's going to be even more powerful, right? So those are all the details you got to know about the Frieza. Oh, uh, let's quickly go over his links, actually. His links are Strongest Client in Space, Universe's Most Malevolent, Metamorphosis, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses. This one is key, right? Because once you max this out, he gets attack and defense plus 25% all the time, regardless of your HP level. So uh, yeah, once that's maxed out, it's gonna make a huge difference for his attack and defense. And then uh, Fear and Faith and Legendary Power. So with all that said, let's jump into the showcase. We're running a uh, Terrifying Conquerors slash uh, Transformation Boost team here. And on the first rotation, we got the Frieza along with his, or one of his best linking partners, the STR Cooler and also some more support from the Turles. And we can start off with almost a full 24 key super. That's gonna be 22. And as far as defense goes, we have 100,207, which is not bad. That's not bad. It's not the craziest defense stat to start with, but um, you know, it's, it's good enough for sure. And the main thing about him is that his damage is so outrageous that it kind of makes up for any defensive shortcomings we may have. <laughs> oh, right, all right, no, I totally forgot. He gets more key when he attacks, so uh, that is a 24 key super. And we got over, we got almost 6 million attack on the, on the first turn, guys. <laughs> I mean, I could just end the showcase here. I, I could just stop recording here and you guys would pretty much get the idea. Obviously, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna do a few more rotations here, give you guys a full feel for the units. But uh, basically, you know, if you want to break down the EZA into like a few words um, or a few characteristics, I guess he hits really damn hard. He tanks decently well. Not the best tank in the game. He does greatly raise defense though on the 12 key, so if you do the 12 key or you get an additional super, then he's gonna be much tankier on that turn. And um, he has some great links. Uh, wow, we just took a lot of damage there. I know we have to type this advantage, but I didn't think we we're gonna, <laughs> I didn't think we we're gonna take 200K on the second enemy, wow. Uh, can't wait for Cooler's easy A. Eh? It's definitely time. And dude, once he gets that Extreme Z Awakening, it's gonna be insane. But you know what, okay, let's go back to the Frieza. Let's focus on the Frieza. Um, first turn, yeah, first turn we got 100, uh, 100,000 defense. And uh, now with the Big Bad Bosses link, we have 151,000 
637 defense, so huge increase right there. And uh, we can also still get the 18k super once we attack. And uh, yeah, things are looking really good for the Frieza. If you guys have been slacking, if you guys haven't taken the time to farm out like all the units you need to extremely awaken him, I would suggest you do it, man. I would, I would suggest you do it because just look at this, man. Just look at what he's doing with only like level one to three links. You know, I think he has like one level four link. That's it. But think about when he has all his links maxed out. He's going to be doing like seven, seven point five, eight million damage. I've, I've seen it, man. People have shown me their screenshots. I've seen a few clips here and there of what the Frieza at max potential at like, you know, max links is capable of. And it just gets silly. It, it honestly just gets silly. Okay, so here we are going to hop a princess snake because I I don't trust cooler anymore you know like after seeing that last turn um, taking a super for 200k I'm just like you know what we got it we gotta keep going with the showcase and I don't want to die in the middle of it so we're gonna pop that item don't worry about it it's all good and um, yeah let's, let's just let's just keep it going like I know I know one complaint a lot of people have is that this guy's really hard to get right like even though he is free to play he takes a lot of work and uh, if you guys you know, have no idea where to start, I do have a guide up on the channel, so feel free to go check it out. I'll put a link somewhere above my head so you guys can access it easily. Um, but yeah, man, even with the guide, you have to follow all the steps, and like, it's, it's going to take you many, many, many hours. It's easily, I think, the longest single grind for like one easy A, for one unit that you can possibly do in the game right now. Like, it's bad. It, it's painful. But... I think it's worth it because as I've said multiple times now, he is better than most of the summonable LRs in the game right now. You know, like he's better than all the OG5. He's better than like most of the, um, I would say he's better than like most of the first 20 summonable LRs that came out in the game. Like I don't think he's better than Jiren. Of course, I don't think he's better than uh, STR UI Goku or the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, but there are very few units in this game that can casually bust out 6 million plus attack on the first turn and just consistently do that. You know, like we have a lot of units that have like, you know, active skills or whatever that uh, will give them like a huge boost for one turn or something like that. Or if you like meet specific conditions, then you can like get a big boost or whatever, right? Like you have like a lot of supports or use a B pan or whatever, right? But there are very few units that can casually with, you know, no conditions met, just be doing damage like this. And uh, yeah, this, this Frieza is just out of control. He is just absolutely dumb in the best way, you know, like in, in a good way. Like I just... I'm still having a hard time processing how busted they made him. Um, some, some, somebody over at, at Akatsuki must be like a huge Frieza fan. You know, there must be like a Goresh over there. Or maybe it is Goresh. Maybe Goresh worked with the, the Akatsuki Bandai Dokkan team to, to develop this EZA. Because that is the only reasonable explanation. Ex explanation. <laughs> I don't know why I can't say that word right now. Explanation for why... This dude is this busted. He's free to play. He's free to play. I was I was impressed by the Super Saiyan Goku, right? But now, like, in comparison, he doesn't seem that impressive. I mean, of, of course, the Goku is still impressive. Don't get me wrong. He still is very impressive. But this Frieza is way more impressive, man. And dude, I cannot wait to see like what the other guys can do, right? Like the the Trunks, the Vegeta, like all the other, all the, the Krillin, all the other Prime Battle LRs, the First Form Cell, um, all those guys, right? Like what are they going to do if Frieza is the second one and he's doing stuff like this, man? What's Trunks going to look like? What's Vegeta going to look like? Krillin is already pretty busted. I don't expect him to get an easy A anytime soon, but um, by the time Krillin gets that easy A, he's probably going to be nuts as well so uh it's gonna be fun i'm excited i can't wait turtles took a lot of damage there uh let's finish off our boy kaba 
and then I think we might do one more fight and then call it a showcase because you know there's no real point in finishing this stage right it's just for the showcase and you guys can see like he doesn't he's not going to increase his attack even more at this point right it's not like he's stacking attack so every turn you're getting somewhere between you know 5.5 to 6.5 7 million damage depending on his links um in this in this uh, showcase since he's at lower level links um if we don't have big bad bosses active you know you're getting between like 5.5 to 6 and then with big bad bosses we're getting somewhere around 6.5 and uh yeah i gotta work on him i i, I should work on I'll work on him some more I, I definitely will do that actually i definitely will do that that'll be the first thing i do today after i post this video so if you guys are watching this right now you can assume that i'm farming my link levels for the first form frieza because man if any unit deserves to get holy crap oh my god yeah, so I think after he took the damage, we got big bad bosses. There's the additional. Finally, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Yeah, okay, so additional was almost 4 million. 6.7 was it? 6.6? 6.7 million for the first super, and then almost 4 million for the second super. That's over 10 million attack in total on this turn, man. And and the scary thing is this is not even his max potential. He could, he could do so much more. I gotta get those links up. I really do. And I could give him even better skill orbs, right? I can give him an attack skill orb for the bronze. I don't, I don't have a good one. That's the issue. That's why I didn't give him, give him one in this video. Um, I could give him, you know, a crit skill orb as well. So he crits more, does more damage that way. Um, he's still got some ways to go. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's crazy. He's crazy. Yo, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the first one, Frieza. Are you as blown away by his performance as I was, still am? Because it, 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 it's nuts to me, man, that, that a free-to-play unit is this good. It, it, it's really crazy to me. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to make this the final attack of the showcase. Um, oh, actually, Khalifa's AGL. A super might take us out. A super might be pretty bad for us. Uh, 144,000 defense is good, but these guys, if I remember correctly, do hit pretty hard. So... Oh, Dokkan attack! Nice! Okay, yeah, we're gonna end off on the Dokkan attack. Hopefully we don't get supered and die. Or something like that. If we do, then it's meant to be. You know, like, I was gonna end the showcase anyways. Okay, so 30k, 31k, alright. I can take that. I can live with that. Alright, so let's get this... Dokkan attack, perfect. There we go. And that's going to be the last attack of the showcase, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Attacks that over 6 million once again, by the way. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I appreciate your time, as always. And if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, ah, that was some good damage. That's some good ass damage. Um, if, it's, if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. Oh, you know what? We healed back to full. Um, I kind of want to kill Khalifa. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, well, we'll do one more rotation with Frieza and then we'll get out of here. Yo, this is like when I summon, man. It's always like one more, one more, one more until my stones are gone. If you guys want to see that, um, a recent example of that, go watch my LR Turles summon stream. I, I plan to do 500 stones and, uh, you know, did a couple of one mores. And next thing I know, all my stones were gone. I had over a thousand stones to start the stream. I only wanted to do half. And I literally spent every single stone I had to my name. And uh, yeah, that was kind of rough. But it was entertaining for people that were watching, so I guess that was worth it, in a sense. Okay, so we're getting supered here. Uh, I think it's the first super we're taking of the video. So let's see. Ooh, that was kind of tough, but we survived. We survived. So, 
hey, not too bad. Uh, anyways, guys, that's going to be the video. Thank you once again for watching. If you liked the video, then make sure to... Oh, no, I already said that. I already said that. Uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.